so hello guys welcome to part 70 we have uploaded part 69 in the members area you can click the join button below this video or use the link in the description please subscribe if you have not yet and this is the youtube handle of this channel we are posting shorts as well regularly so do visit those shorts it will give you information in just 20 to 30 seconds but it will be easier to remember shorts is the easiest way to recollect things or revise things so i am posting thumb rules as shorts so do visit that so let us look at this question now see this question is simple you have an application okay so imagine this box is your application and you have uh, put it in a remote site with slow internet connection the moment i see slow internet connection i think about some small district in bihar okay slow internet connection there now you have to move this to aws so the company wants a solution like you you have to tell in aws where should we move this the first thing is um you remember that this one thing wherever you want to move it make sure that the application has maximum speed I think like the moment you enter www.amazon.com it comes immediately okay like hardly milliseconds so that should be the case now what service should you use should you put it in on az just putting out az will not help az talks about the data center region az these are all infrastructure but what service will you use that we have to check b talks about local zones say it's simple it clearly says run latency sensitive latency sensitive applications which is closer to the end users so this looks good okay so what about c wavelength c by the time you are deciding we should have a baby in nine months after nine months you produce one baby AWS is launching nine services by that time. You see the industry is moving so fast. And my friend, if you are still working on mainframe, you should think seriously about moving to cloud technologies. In Hyderabad, uh, I have some colleagues and friends. And one thing I learned from them is if I'm not learn, like I, I heard from them is if you cannot make it, you fake it which is not good for integrity but you know what that's that's how a lot of people have been working there so wavelength is like deliver ultra low latency applications for 5g devices so this is not for i mean this you see the application this is for 5g devices so 5g is still not in here i'm not sure about us at least in india it is not there yet so we will not uh, worry about people who are not born yet when they are born then we will worry and then outposts so this is like you can run aws infrastructure on premises for truly hybrid experience here nobody is talking about hybrid see i went through some uh, websites when i was analyzing some questions i saw this question some people we are debating hey you know what it can be outpost also but he, here the solution is not hybrid the company wants to migrate you want to migrate to us why you want a green card you want us citizenship so that when you get that you can post it on linkedin that you have got your citizenship so recently i have been seeing some people doing it senior people like very senior people in different organizations they are posting it okay so local zones is my answer final answer so let us look at this question now see very simple question you were saving something on s3 storage okay now you have accidentally deleted okay you have to restore it so what property or what feature of s3 will allow simple 
version control okay versioning that will allow you so version will maintain each version the moment you accidentally delete you can recover so this would be my answer see server access logging is like you know this this is wrong here because See, this will provide you detailed records for requests that are made to a bucket. So these are logs basically and they are very useful for applications. So it can help you with security and access audits. And life cycle rules is you know you have to move from uh, one type of storage to other in S3. Like you want to move from standard to intelligent tiring, standard IA, one zone IA and so on then you use a life cycle rules and encryption in transit and at rest this is about encryption see accidental deletes has nothing to do with encryption encryption is to hide your data so that you cannot view it with naked eyes it's like you know when you are wearing a trouser you try to wear a pant or, uh, or uh, underwear because even the shape should not be visible from outside so that is what encryption does the data or even what the data looks like i'm giving you very uh, crude examples man but this will help you remember it so encryption is like what does the data look like how it is is it numeric is it integer nothing from outside you can know nothing so this is the final answer versioning so it keeps multiple variants of an object in the same bucket and you can use it to preserve retrieve and restore every version so that is the key but you will have to enable it it is not enabled by default so once you enable versioning s3 receives multiple write requests for the same object simultaneously it stores all objects okay so all versions are saved So here, uh, if you see which IT controls, this is our next question. Okay, so please focus again. Which IT controls do AWS and customers share as a part of shared responsibility models? So you will get at least I think three questions at least on the shared responsibility model. They try to test your knowledge, and every time they ask some different questions. So many times. You might feel in this channel that hey uh, did i uh, already go through exact question so sometimes a question is or most of the time it is not an exact question it's a different variant but that is how uh, they keep reshuffling the questions they ask a different variant concept is the same concept does not change so here if we see uh, both like aws and customer so they will share patch management because see uh aws also does the os level patch and then once you have the ec2 instance you you are also supposed to do you know patch management uh, at least for the applications that you are hosting on ec2 on ec2 instance you may be having a website running so if you want to and website may be using say react js if you want to do a patch upgrade it is your responsibility aws will not do it at the OS level, AWS takes care. Now, cloud awareness and training, uh, AWS will do it uh, for their resources, like people who are managing the data centers or their support people. But you, as a client, you know, you you are also having a responsibility there. You will have to um, run these awareness camps and training camps for your own employees. For like example, Bank of America. So they will have to run this for their own employees. AWS will not run it. Uh, you may choose that, hey, AWS, can you run a training awareness program for my employees? AWS would do it. They would charge you extra money. But uh, that is your responsibility. You have to plan it. Zone security is purely AWS responsibility. Okay. Like it can also involve physical security. So security guards who many times don't know where is the data center physically located. Okay. So you will not even understand who is the security guard there, which company is providing the security. So that, that is totally, uh, you, you are not even, you are totally isolated. You don't know this. And application data encryption purely, it is purely customer responsibility. 
physical and environment controls this is purely aws responsibility physical control where is the hardware physically what happens cloud is ultimately having a hardware data center hardware hypervisor those access will not be given to you as a customer aws employees will do that they will take care so friends this brings us to the end of this part if you have not yet subscribed please do so believe me the concepts will help you with the certification is uh, the, the key point but once you add this in your profile people will ask you some questions uh, if you go through these videos you would be able to answer it you will remember these concepts for a while okay do not mock the answers you may pass the certification but then uh, you will not be potent enough to answer uh, or clear any interviews uh, you can understand like uh, during tough times a strong cv uh, goes flies and when people get strong cvs they want to talk to understand the experience behind that and if you falter then uh, that that is that would be a bad thing and then you will have to again reinvent the wheel go through the concepts and so on so let's do it uh, one time the first time should be the right way of doing it uh, i have uploaded part 69 uh, in the cloud kernel members area you can access this become a member the link is in the description or you can click the join button below this video and I have been posting a lot of shorts. Uh, these are all small knowledge tidbits. A lot of thumb rules. So go through it. I will continue posting those. And that is the easiest way. Like within 30 seconds, you just understand one thumb rule. And it, it will be in your brains and mind for, for a while. So enough of, of talking. See you in the next part.